The Motorola Edge 30 is the successor to the Motorola Edge 20 and has been introduced in the sub 30,000 rupee segment. Motorola claims that this is currently the slimmest 5G smartphone in the market and it also weighs just 155 grams. Should the Moto Edge 30 be your first choice? Here's a quick look at the Motorola Edge 30. When you look at the Motorola Edge 30, you'll see certain elements borrowed from the Motorola Edge 30 Pro, but the body is more squared off. It has a good in-hand feel as well. The flat sides curve at the edges so the phone doesn't dig into your palms when holding it. The phone is just 6.79mm thick and feels light at 155 grams. The frame of the Motorola Edge 30 is made out of polycarbonate and the back is acrylic, which helps keep the weight down. While these don't feel premium, they don't feel particularly cheap either. The phone is offered in Meteor Grey and Aurora Green color options and I have the former with me. The Motorola Edge 30 sports a 6.55 inch P OLED panel with Full HD Plus resolution and a 144Hz refresh rate. The thin bezels on this P OLED panel help provide an immersive viewing experience. It has a hole in the top center for the selfie camera and an in-display fingerprint scanner which even the Motorola A30 Pro doesn't have. There is Corning Gorilla Glass 3 for protection which should help prevent scratches to some extent. Motorola has used the exact same camera sensors as it did with the H30 Pro. This phone sports a 50 megapixel primary camera with optical image stabilization, a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle camera that also takes macro shots and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. For selfies, it has a 32 megapixel shooter. The Motorola Edge 30 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G Plus SoC and is offered in 6GB RAM and 8GB RAM options, while storage remain unchanged at 128GB. The base 6GB RAM variant is exclusive to India and starts at 27,999 rupees, while the higher variant is priced at 29,999 rupees. Motorola is offering a 2000 rupee discount for certain bank customers. This positions the Edge 30 against the Xiaomi 11i Hypercharge and the Realme 2 GT Master Edition, which also sport high refresh rate AMOLED displays. You get a 4020mAh battery, which is smaller than the average battery capacity on smartphones these days. Now, this was a conscious design choice to make the phone slimmer and lighter. However, Motorola is confident of the H30's ability to deliver good battery life. You get a 33W charger in the box to top the phone up quickly. On the software front, you get Android 12 with Motorola's MyUX customizations. Motorola does promise Android 13 and Android 14 updates for the H30 along with 3 years worth of security updates. I think the Motorola H30 will draw people who don't like big and bulky smartphones. It also has some interesting features and sports powerful hardware. But should you be spending your hard earned money on it? I will be putting the Motorola H30 to the test, so stay tuned to Gadget360 for the full review.